Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and if you've been on Instagram recently, you probably know that posting a video to the platform has become kind of a complicated task. There are now four different types of videos on Instagram. There's the feed videos, stories, IGTV, and reels. Each of them come with a different set of sizes that are possible, and making sure your content fits on the screen for that particular format can be confusing. So in this video, I'm here to show you the correct sizes for each of these different formats, and then I'll also show you how to size existing videos no matter what their original format was so that they fit on the whole screen on Instagram because nobody has time to reshoot videos for every single social media platform. To stay up to date with everything you need to know as a modern creator, make sure to click that subscribe button and notifications bell down below and also join our Discord where you can talk to me and other creators in our community, share your experiences and advice and hear everyone else's. Now let's get started. So to resize a video for Instagram to fit the whole video, we're gonna be using Kapwing, which is a completely online editor. You can click the first link in the description below at the top of the description to get there. And this works on your computer or your phone. Now, once you get here, the first thing you'll want to do is upload the video that you want to resize. So you can either click to upload from your files or even just paste a link to a video that's already on the internet, for example, on TikTok or YouTube or somewhere else. Now, the main task we're trying to do here is resize this video which means you'll need to know what the sizes for Instagram are. And because Instagram likes to keep things complicated with video, these are the sizes that currently work for videos in 2021. On your profile page, they all show up as a square. So the thumbnail of the video will be a square. So keep that in mind but in the feed, they show up in these sizes. Now the best size for a feed video is actually four by five because that will allow you to take up the most space in the feed. For example, this is how th these three different sizes show up in the feed. This one is four by five, this one is one by one, and then this one is 16 by nine. And the four by five takes up the most space on a person's phone when they're viewing it. Now for stories, reels, and IGTV, these are all going to be nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is generally the size that your phone will record in. So one of the most common tasks is resizing a vertical nine by 16 video. As you can see this video, if I click the background, it says nine by 16 right now, but that is not one of the sizes that will work as a feed video. You'll need to resize it to fit either the four by five, one by one, or the 16 by nine aspect ratios. And we can do all of that here. I would, I'm going to do four by five because I think that's the best option when you take up the most space. So to resize the video, make sure to click the background and this output size options will come up. If you're doing this on a phone, click the background and then click the edit background button that shows up. Now I'm going to choose the four by five option output size and I click that and as you can see it resizes it the canvas itself to four by five and if you want to make sure the whole video is on the screen what you can do is either use these purple dots at the corners and drag it or you can also just click this lock ratio button which conveniently locks it to the perfect original dimensions it was and that lock ratio button, if you're on a phone, just click the video and then click the edit video button and that, that option will be there. So now that the whole video is on the screen, you can drag it to where you want. And then with the background, you can change that to any color you want. So right now it's white, which will probably blend in with a lot of um, Instagram users feeds, but if you want to change it to a different color, you can do so on the side here. We have custom, uh, you can type in a custom hex code or choose from this palette. We even have this eyedropper tool that allows you to drag over colors in the video and then click one and it'll change the background to that exact color. Now, once you are happy with the sizing, you have a bunch of other options in the top bar here. For example, text, you can search for images straight from Google right in here and just click one and it'll input it into the project. You can also add or record audio by uploading file or pasting a link or recording. And then we also have subtitles and other elements. And then once you're happy with your video, you're ready to get it to Instagram, click the red export video button. After a few moments, your video will be done. Make sure to sign in to remove the watermark in the corner. Signing in will also allow you to access your account, your Kapwing account on your phone or any other device so that you can go into that account on that device and then download the project and upload it to Instagram. Before I go over that, I wanted to just show how to resize a video to fit the either stories 
Reels or IGTV, which is the nine by 16 size. So I'm gonna click to upload a file. And as you can see, this video is currently in the 16 by nine format. So this fits more like a YouTube video or something else where it's horizontal. This will not take up a lot of space on Instagram as a story reel or IGTV. So what you want to do is click the nine by 16 output size, which is for those different formats. And then you can see that it crops out the some of the video. If you are fine with that, you just want the whole video to take up the screen and there's like a single focus in the video, like my face here works, then that's probably fine. You don't need the extra space and extra part of the video there. If you do want to adjust where, which part of the video it's centered on here, you can click the video and click crop and then click the nine by 16 box and then move it around. Now, one thing to take note of is that other parts of your video might be cropped. For example, this is a picture that the sides are cropped. So to fit the whole video on the screen in this nine by 16 format, you can click the lock ratio button again, and it will resize it down back to the original horizontal format, but on the nine by 16 canvas. Now you can also just drag out to keep, get something in the middle where you do have these, you have the center focus, but you have more of the video inside the canvas as opposed to before. And then of course in this, the borders, you can change the background color again using the options on the side here. And these borders, even though they might look annoying, they are actually really great spaces for adding other things like text and images and subtitles. So I just went in and added subtitles automatically using our auto subtitler. In the click of a button, it'll create all these subtitles for your whole video. And then I also added this emoji at the top. The world is your oyster and and you can do whatever you want in here. And then when you're ready to download your video, get it to Instagram again, just click the red export video button. So once you've resized your video and you are ready to get it to Instagram, the easiest way to get projects from your computer to your phone, if you didn't do this on a phone, is to just copy the link to your Kapwing project and send it to your phone, or you can sign into your Kapwing account on your phone. So I did that and I'm here in Safari now. I can just click the three dots on the project I want and then click download click download again, and then click the top right corner, click your project, and then click the bottom left corner, and then click save video. Now that video will be in your camera roll. Then go to Instagram, and if you're going to post a feed video, click the plus in the top right corner, and then click your project. So this is the four by five sized video that I resized first in this video. And here's the important step. Make sure to click that little icon with the two arrows in the corner and that will make sure that it resizes to the four by five and has the whole picture in the frame. Then you can just click next and next again, and then share with your description and other things. And then once it's published, this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's the whole video on the screen. What originally was a nine by 16 video is now four by five, takes up the most space in the feed. Then you can post the nine by 16 resized videos. So I'll go to my story now, click the bottom left icon, and then choose the nine by 16 size video. And here it is with the subtitles, with the emoji at the top, and you can see that it all fits. And then just go next and click your story. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you still have questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything you need to know as a social media video creator, and we'll see you in the next video.